Honor, courage, benevolence, and loyalty are some of Bushido's main virtues, the code of honor that guided the samurai warriors in their life of servitude and personal improvement. For a long time, the samurai were the dominant warrior class on the battlefields of feudal Japan. This superiority came from privileged training in different styles of martial arts and weapons such as bow and arrow, spears and swords. But the advancement of time is inevitable and progress eventually gave Japan a new kind of weapon. The age of firearms had started. In 1543, Portuguese merchants took to Japan a weapon known in the West as arquebus. The Japanese were impressed with the destructive power of the weapon, capable of piercing even the thickest armor. The Japanese quickly created their versions of the firearm, the Tanegashima. Tanegashima was used by special units of Ashigaru, light infantry soldiers, who represented a large part of the Japanese feudal armies. A few years after its introduction, this new weapon completely changed the way of war in Japan. Firearms were used mainly during the Sengoku period when Japan plunged into a terrible civil war, where many feudal lords fought for the country's military supremacy. In 1549, the famous Oda Nobunaga ordered 500 weapons for his army. The effectiveness of the Tanegashima was unquestionable compared to other traditional weapons. The estimate says that a professional archer could shoot 15 arrows, while a soldier armed with a rifle had to load the gun and could fire only once. The round bullets used in rifles constantly changed direction, making accuracy difficult. Also, there was the problem of humidity and rain, as the gunpowder could become unusable. The Japanese quickly created more effective models that were better able to withstand climate adversities. They also developed new firing techniques. The main one was to aim the weapons at a higher angle, thus increasing the range and creating a rain of bullets on the enemy. Even the proud samurai could not deny the effectiveness of firearms and gradually began to include shooting training in their daily routines. And, contrary to what many think, the samurai did not refuse to use these methods. For them, firearms were another instrument to be mastered and used against the enemies. The greatest honor for a samurai was to defeat as many enemies as possible in a battle and do their duty. For this, he could use a sword or a rifle. The brilliant Japanese craftsman created a powerful variation known as Ozotsu Tanegashima, a heavy hand cannon that required a special posture to be fired. Despite its low accuracy, the cannon could cause great damage, especially if several were fired at the same time. Oda Nobunaga was a great firearms enthusiast, using many at the Battle of Nagashino in 1575, where he faced Takeda Shingen's army. Takeda Shingen's cavalry was the strongest and most feared in all of Japan at the time. Still, it failed to defeat the 3,000 men armed with Tanegashima, under Nobunaga's command, definitely marking the defeat of the Takeda clan. The demand for firearms was so great that for a long time, Japan manufactured more firearms than all of Europe. With the end of the wars and the beginning of the Edo period, which established 250 years of peace in Japan, firearms lost importance, becoming restricted to activities such as castle defenses, hunting, and training. During almost the entire Edo period, Japan interrupted trade with foreigners, and the Tanegashima technology stagnated. In 1867, Japan reopened its doors to the outside world during the Meiji era. They realized that their weapons were already very obsolete because there were more advanced models used by Europeans and Americans. The Japanese put an end to the samurai era and embraced a new modern system of military recruitment, importing new weapons into Japan and establishing the Japanese Imperial Army. Today, many works represent the samurai as warriors who only use the sword and despise firearms. But, as history shows, they not only used firearms, but also had a great appreciation for the new technology that would change the world forever.